Lost out of a Luton mosque for trying to radicalize other worshippers, Muslim leaders say they confronted the Stockholm bomber Taimur Abdul Wahab in Ab, uh, Ab, sorry, say that again, Abdelli after he began preaching about suicide attacks. But they failed to alert the police. British counterterrorism police are assisting the Swedish security services searching a house in Luton where it's believed he lived with his family. Our home affairs correspondent Andy Davis has this report. Oh my God! This footage was taken shortly after Saturday's suspected terrorist attack in Stockholm. It is late afternoon in a popular shopping district. Another camera captures the sporadic series of explosions within the car. There has been no formal police narrative as to what exactly happened in the minutes following the first explosion, but it's understood that the driver of the car thought to be this man, Tamur Abdul Wahab Al Abdali, attempted a second explosion just 200 yards away using a device strapped to his body. He was found with fatal blast injuries to his abdomen with, it was reported, other devices beside him. Now the Metropolitan Police's Counterterrorism Command and MI5 are involved investigating Al Abdali's links to Britain. The 29-year-old had grown up in Sweden but spent much of the last decade in Luton, it seems, this reportedly his last known address. I used to see him and say hello, hi, and he was a very nice person. He used to love his little kids, and uh, I used to see him in the garden playing around with them, and uh, always together with his wife and with the kids, and that's it. He struck you as a, very much a family man? Very family man, yeah. Yeah, he was a family man, no trouble at all. It's understood that the 29-year-old was born in Baghdad but moved to Stockholm with his family in 1992 and became a Swedish national. In 2001, age 20, he came to the UK to study physical therapy at what is now called the University of Bedfordshire. It's believed he married in 2004 and has two daughters and a baby boy. But recently, he posted a profile on a Muslim dating website claiming that he wanted to get married again and would like to have a big family. My wife agreed to this, he says. In the future, I'm looking to move to an Arabic country and settle down there. He later writes, hope you are a strong believer and striving for Jannah or paradise. A few years ago, he came to this mosque in Luton, we were told, during Ramadan. And they remember him only too well here because he took on the chairman, apparently, in a series of occasionally acrimonious exchanges over the meaning of jihad. And his last visit here, we were told, would end somewhat abruptly. He was not asked to leave. Um, he was exposed for his beliefs publicly in front of everybody. And um, in, in a fit of anger, he just got up and he stormed out. That's what happened. So we put him in a, in, in a position to leave. What, what, what beliefs? The beliefs of um, some extremist, basically what it is, the extremist violent beliefs have a, a number of um, fundamental bases that they're built upon. And these are theological bases. And he was preaching those theological bases, which are the pretense for violence and extremism. So there are familiar questions now facing MI5. Notably, had this former UK-based student, if confirmed as the bomber, been a person of interest to them in the past? Whitehall officials had little to say on the matter. There will be questions too as to whether he was acting in the role of what security officials label a lone wolf, or had he been helped? This audio recording purportedly from Abdali was sent to a news agency just minutes before the attacks, decrying a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad by a Swedish artist. So stop your drawings and stop your drawings of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Draw your soldiers from Afghanistan and no more oppression against Islam or Muslims will be tolerated in any way or any means. And in the last hour, it was reported that Taimur al-Abdali had left another posthumous call to arms a will on a jihadist internet forum in which it was claimed he identified himself as the bomber and called for more attacks in Europe.